welcome to a brief video overview on how to set up uh, goal conversion tracking in analytics. So depending on what you what the, your desired action is on your website, a goal can have a lot of different meanings. It can be something as simple as uh, somebody submitting a form or lead, uh, something more complex like actually purchasing a product or uh, you know like an ebook or something like that. But the idea is um, a goal is something that you want somebody to do on your website and tracking the kinds of people that complete these goals is extremely important. Um, it helps you when you need to uh, figure out your future marketing plans. If you're going to launch something like pay-per-click, you get a good keyword list of people that do what you want them to do. You can also see what words are action words for your SEO campaign and you can target them more effectively. So on our website basically our only goal is to have somebody submit a lead. Um, so they fill in the information, they submit the request, and then here's the key to tracking a goal. After it's completed, it needs to redirect to a thank you page. So ours would be, you know, slash thank dash you dot html. Okay, so a lot of people, maybe you just submit the request and it says thanks and doesn't do anything. Uh, the real key to actually getting goal tracking to work is... Uh, First, having Google Analytics on every single page of your website, including the thank you page. And uh, after somebody submits a form or purchases something, you need to have a redirect URL, redirect URL that takes them to a thank you page. Very simple on a form like this. If you have a shopping cart or you're using PayPal or something like that, it's also very easy to set that up. So once you've done that on your website or you've had your programmer do that, you can go into Analytics. And uh, when you're viewing your site, you can hit Edit all the way to the right and you can see conversion and goal conversion goals and funnel so you can see you get you can set up a couple different goals so maybe you have a lead and a sale uh, where people can actually you know sometimes people buy things sometimes people submit leads you want to track them both separately you can do that all you need is different thank you pages for each one very simple um, to set up a goal all you have to do is hit edit activate the goal you can leave it on head match type in the URL of your thank you page so in our case it's HTTP www our site name slash thank you and here's where you name the goal so let's say this is called a lead um, and then you can skip all the way down if you're not going to set up a funnel now, funnel is kind of if you have a multi-step process, like uh, if you have a long sales form or something like that. Um, but most people, a simple goal conversion is really easy to set up, so you can skip that. Just save the changes. That's it. It'll be activated. You can see you've got one there called lead, the URL, and it's on. If you had also a sale, you could edit the settings of the second goal, set up another another goal name real easily. Now, to show you kind of why this is important, well, let's go to a different... Uh, different little website here. Um, this is one that is basically just kind of a it's a free training program type website and AdSense so basically people can sign up for a free training program. Uh, we just installed analytics on our website so you know this will give you a better idea of why goal conversion is so powerful. So when you log into your website, maybe a month later or something after you've had a good amount of goals, you can use the Goals tab here to the left. Once you do that, it will open up your conversions. Now you can see, you know, I have anywhere from 28 to 34 every single day. In uh, one month, from April 20th to May 20th, 675 conversions. On If you had multiple goal setup they would show up here so one is called sign up you might have one called sale you can see your goal conversion rate 7.86 percent pretty darn good um, you can look at all sorts of other things abandoned goals if you had the funnel set up you could look at all sorts of other things but here's here's some other great information um, if you go back to your dashboard and you start breaking down the data and you start looking at things like keywords that people are using to get to your site. Okay, so I've got a variety of keywords here, right? Learn how to fix computers and then be your own IT.com, runtime package, runtime package, computer repair tools. 
Well, you'll notice this Goal Conversion tab here. You can click that, and uh, you can look at what your conversion rate is, um, how many um, per visit goal value it is. So if you want to look at maybe what your conversion rate, what's you, you know the highest conversion rate you've got, you've got f free computer training, 100%. Um, maybe you do, um, you look at visits, you've got 246 people showing up that typed in learn how to fix computers but 0% of them actually signed up so this probably isn't something I'd bid on in PPC or something I'd attack with an SEO campaign but you'll notice something like learn computer repair just 35 visitors in a month but but 32% conversion uh, right there 25% conversion on the site name itself so you can really get in there and start looking at what kind of words convert um, then build your PPC list or build a list um, long term for words that you want to target in SEO. Uh, this is kind of just an overview of, of goal content. What's really great is if you have <clears throat> an e-commerce website you can assign a value. If you sell a product that's at a single price you can look about how valuable each keyword is. I just set it one dollar um, as, the, as the value for this one but it's kind of you know just a placeholder value but let's say you sold a $25 ebook now you'd see if there's you know 10 conversions you'd see 250 bucks over here and you could really see the valuable of value of certain keywords um, you can also look at um, the source what sources are really converting good for you um, so MSN's up there at 23 percent um, search live AOL Google by far the most visits about eight or seven point two five percent conversion you can also change your dimension here and look at visitor type landing page all sorts of amazing stuff region I mean you can find out hey is there a certain area that really converts well for me maybe I should target that with PPC um, looks like Iowa loves me um, but there's there's lots of other great information here once you're looking at the goal conversions just go through your dimensions and you can find out a lot of information about about your uh, potential customers what operating system they're using what browser I mean, if we look at browser um, the vast majority of about half the visits came in Internet Explorer and converted at 10 percent so that's a hundred conversions um, the rest basically in Firefox you can see Firefox converts at about half the conversion rate as Internet Explorer so there's a uh, unlimited amount of information that you can get from setting up goal conversion conversion and you'd be surprised how often I see um, e-commerce sites come through that haven't been set up so I hope this helps you um, kinda harness the power of you know analytics a little bit take it to the next level and helps you uh, in your marketing efforts moving forward